what's up family? I am Rachel and I am one half of Two Crazy Ketos. And today I am having the distinct privilege of chatting with somebody that I admire so much. And that is Crystal Sykes. This is the Lady Savage on Instagram and co-owner of Keto Brick. Yes. Thanks so much for, for chatting with us today. Yeah. You, you are a new mom. Yep. And you actually ate a, a keto way of life during your pregnancy. Yep. Now, now that's not right, right? I'm, <laughs> right, I'm sure that, that you got some opinions. Mm -hmm. Isn't it funny, as soon as you get pregnant, everybody knows how you're supposed to do it. Yes, they have all the opinions about everything you should do. Everything, yeah. what you should use, yeah. the, 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 the crib, everything. Yeah, yep. So why was it important to you to continue your, your normal way of eating during your pregnancy? Um, it was mostly important because I knew I was putting quality, new, like nutrients into my body. I knew, <laughs> I knew what I wanted to. Um, I knew that I wanted to start my all of my children eventually, maybe possibly if we have more, yes. um, off with the best foot that they could. Mm -hmm. And I think the best way that you can do that is by focusing on their nutrition and also being active. Yes. Like being active as a mom while they're in the womb, and then it, being that example as they grow up. I think that that's that's just the most important thing that you can do. Yeah. And I started my journey in fitness nutrition because I was sick yes. and I do not want to put my children through that so it was important to me to like just keep going and not deviate from what I normally do well and what I thought was so awesome is throughout your pregnancy you shared your workouts even yeah because you know you have you have always enjoyed fitness and that didn't need to stop when you got pregnant yeah you know were, were there there are things that that you wanted to you adapted as you went in, into the pregnancy yeah just Mostly, honestly, just feeling out what felt right. You know, there was days that I stretched instead of lifted. There was days that I walked more than other days. There was, you know, I, I did all different kinds of things. I tried to stick with my normal resistance training. I didn't really want to lose a whole bunch of strength and things like that. Um, but I just, I, I went with how my body felt. And if I felt good, then I was going to keep going. If I felt poorly, then I'm going to adapt and still get in some sort of movement. But you know, adapt to what's going to feel best as, as you're pregnant, you know? Right. Now, um, how has this way of eating helped you, you know, postpartum? How, how has that helped you as, as, you know, now the baby's on the scene. Yeah. Do you find that you have the energy and, that is up to the task of, of, of having a baby? Yeah, it's, um, it's wild. I really feel like my fitness, my nutrition, all that has really helped a lot in me having the energy a lot of people say that they're just so exhausted and drained and i just really don't feel like that i feel pretty energized i feel pretty good um, i wake up earlier than my baby does so that i can go get a workout in right. and then have a full day with him um I, I really think it's helped a lot and i think it's also helped a lot mentally as well i know so many women struggle with postpartum depression postpartum yes. anxiety and i think that it's really helpful to know exactly what you're putting in your body make sure that you're still investing in yourself and it can be really a really helpful thing I, i'm really thankful that you're talking about like even putting in the like get up before the baby gets up and put in some effort for yourself because again um at least for me i felt like if i was if i was never doing something for myself i, I would i would usually let me time be at the end of the day if there was any time yeah. left but if I prioritize getting in my fitness first, you know, some me time at the beginning of the day, it actually helps my attitude towards serving the rest of my family because I'm not always thinking like, well, there's another day that I didn't get any me time. So, yeah. so do you advise to other people to kind of prioritize? I mean, it's not like you're abandoning their needs. Right. You're just putting your oxygen mask on first for the day. Exactly. And I'm really lucky to have a husband who encourages me to do that and will do all the other things that needs to be done so that I can have that time to myself. Yeah. And it's great. I'm, I'm really blessed to have him and, and it, I really think that it's, it's, I can tell the days that I don't set aside time for me, I'm not as good. I'm not as on top of things. I, you know, I really have to have that, that little time of just silence or workout or whatever it is that feels good to the individual, 
Yeah. It's been really helpful. Now, your precious husband, Robert Keto Savage, um, actually uh, snapped a photo of you, which yeah. we're going to share of, of you and the baby sleeping. Can yeah. you talk a little bit about why why is that that so beautiful, you know, that time of you together just resting together with your baby? Um, well, it was, it's kind of a funny picture because I was, it was one of those long days. You know, every day is perfect and wonderful with him, but some days are longer than others. And I was just completely exhausted. And we own the business, and yeah. so I spend all day at the business with Rigel, my son. And so I'm taking care of him and also working and doing all the things. And one day I was just like, man, this has been a rough one. So yeah. I laid on the, the office floor yes. and laid him on me and we both just passed out. Robert came in, snapped a photo, and I just thought it was just like a perfect example of what we do. Like we just go, go, go. And sometimes you just gotta like soak in those moments together and feel the exhaustion and just lay there. <laughs> well, and I'm, I'm so thankful to you for, for being so real. Everything that you share, even, you know, as you've talked about, you know, you know, hormonal imbalance and how nutrition has like changed things in your life. And you're so real and authentic about even that moment of fatigue, you know, like it's, it's not like, oh, you know, I, I, I don't know why you guys are tired. I'm never yeah, tired. Yeah. Right? And even, you know, showing your workouts where the baby carriage sometimes is like <laughs> right, right there. Yeah. And, you know, we get to be our children's first teacher, which is yeah. such a powerful thing. And, you know, uh, I can't get into to a time machine and go back to reteach my own children at an early age. But but you have the opportunity to, to share your way of eating with your son. And what are some of the lessons that, that, that you would like to, to share with him when he starts to eat solid food? Yeah, I think it's really important. I think that there's several different ways you can go about it. And I want to make sure that I'm doing the best thing for him especially with eating disorders being a thing. Yes. I want to teach him why I eat the way I eat and that he can have the choice to, you know, eat what feels good to your body. And yeah. he will feel the consequences of eating something that's not as optimal right. because your body knows. Your body knows what feels good and what it doesn't. And I think at those points, we will start to navigate, okay, why don't we feel good? What are we feeling? Things like that. Because everyone really has to learn from their own mistakes and yes. if you don't learn from your own mistakes and you're just told like you have to eat this you can't eat that now it's a forbidden fruit that yeah. i am like heading straight for that one thing because you're telling me like that's the thing don't to eat you yes. Know? yes yes exactly so i think just explaining why we eat things and the nutrients that children are smart they're yes. so smart and they take too so much smart almost eat, right yeah. <laughs> they take in so much and i think if you just explain it and you know, it's it, it all even out, and they'll learn their their lessons themselves. Yeah, yeah. Well, one thing that that we love is Keto Brick. Yeah. You guys have had this company for what? How, what year are you on? Um. So we are on. It's 2018, 19, 20, four years. Wow. Yeah. So we have relied on Keto Brick almost from the beginning. I can remember when when it was just sm very small batches, yeah. and you just had to be there at your computer. Yeah. Joe would get in trouble because he'd be in the church. <laughs> parking lot like hitting refresh refresh yeah. refresh and you have you know literally one brick at a time hard work I mean hard work and discipline to grow this company yeah. a company of integrity and you've done it your way what is what is important to you as far as you know not just the quality of your product but the quality of your business yeah so we are very close with our employees our crew that's really really important to us to like dive into their lives and and help them along the way as well. We right. kind of help e all help each other out. Um, but yeah, the, the quality of course of the product, but that we kept everything in house because we wanted to have control over what was gonna go out. And if we won't eat it, we're not gonna give it to other people. So that, that was really important That is huge. Yeah, so that, our employees, I mean, it's just, it's a, really cool culture that we've created in our own little environment and I just love it and it's we never thought we would have a physical product we always thought we'd be able to work from our computer and go travel and whatever yeah. and we wouldn't have it any other way now it's just like this happened we created it for ourselves and it's just been it's just been growing and totally unexpectedly has been growing and been just like a wonderful a wonderful thing that 
It is so, and it's so amazing that it's a, it's a simple product, right? Because yeah. There's not a lot of just like confusion in here. It's just, yeah. it's just real food packaged this way and put out and, and it's amazing. And I mean, we've really depended on it. But the other thing that I really like that you bring is your apparel. Oh, oh my yeah. gracious. And you bring that same level of integrity to the clothing. You, you know, you're not outsourcing that. I mean, we're here right. at the show here at the Hard to Kill Summit in Omaha and you, you've got presses here yeah. making t-shirts one at a time. Yeah. You know, you could outsource that, Crystal. Right, Why? Why are you not sending that to, to another party? Why aren't you yeah. guys doing that? Again, the same reason, the, the quality. We also want to have that connection with our customer base. Like we want to know the people that are purchasing from us. We want to share our experience with them. And we, again, we love our crew. We love our employees. We want them to grow as we grow. Yeah. So that that's also super important. And I really do think that you get a better quality. You get a better relationship. The um, customer connections that you get when someone emails in and says, hey, I like this or I don't like that or whatever. We're actually the people receiving that. You're not right. going through a computer or something else. It's directly to us, and that was really important to us. It, it must be amazing just, like, slaying, um, you know, past beliefs, you know, and that's what, what, what your husband has done, what you have done, which is, you know, beliefs like, hey, you can't be a natural bodybuilder. Yep. You can't be an athletic that, you know, an athlete that's fueled by keto. And it's just like, he just, you keeps like, you can't be this young and like build a business. You can't like, you know, not compromise on what yep. you're putting out. And you're just like, just yeah. slaying each of those things. Does it give you personal satisfaction to, to do it your way without compromise? Absolutely. I think the personal satisfaction is the only way you can go. Like you have to make sure that you're you're content and happy with yourself. It doesn't really matter what everyone else around you thinks or does. It it, it matters with you and your family and that the direction that you guys want to go together. I right. think that's the most important. So yeah, it's amazing to slay those. I like I that. I mean, you just slay it. I feel like, it, you, you don't remind me of, you're too young, but like we used to watch She-Ra growing up. It was like He-Man's, you know, cousin was She-Ra and she used to have the sword and she was, and she was, I mean, just gorgeous and like just strong. <laughs> yeah. And that's like, I always think of She-Ra when I, when I think of you. Um, now you guys are going to be participating in the 50 mile march. You did mm -hmm. participate last, last year. year. I, I just remember, talk about a picture of people sleeping was like that, that yes. look of y'all after that. Why is participating in this important to you guys? Well, first of all, we love Jay. And Jay and Jamie had both invited us to participate in, in it last year. And I cannot tell you how amazing it is when you're walking and people are honking and they're get, get, just getting so excited. And it's all for the veterans. Yeah. And I absolutely love that. Um, I have friends and family and all that that are veterans. And I think it's super important. I mean, just, we were watching a, a clip earlier on, it was on stage, and I like I couldn't help but like tear up. And then Jay had people stand who have served our country, and I'm like welling up because it's so, it's, they're special people. Yes. And I just think that that's really amazing. And so we did that last year, and it was an awesome opportunity to do that. And um, and then Robert's gonna do it this year. I'm not gonna be doing it because we now have the right. baby. And I'm yeah, it's just it's not gonna work for me this year. But I'll be back hopefully next year. Yeah, but, but yeah. But you know, and I and I'm so thankful on behalf of Rigel to yeah. know that like he's got parents that you know you have that commitment to the community. You know, your every day, the way that you lead out your life is something he's always gonna be able to look up to, which I think is just so powerful. And we look up to you. I mean, you know. We could we could be your grandparents probably, no, you know, age wise. No. But you guys ha have just set the standard for integrity, and and we appreciate you so much. Um, where can people find you if they've never heard of Keto Brick? Which I can't believe. What are you yeah. living under a rock, right? If you don't know about Keto Brick. Uh, so Keto Brick, you can find us on Instagram under Keto Brick or KetoBrick.com. Uh, we also have a Facebook that's under Keto Brick. And I'm slowly but surely getting a TikTok for it. Ooh, I can't I'm, wait. I'm not a TikTok fan, but I'm I'm diving in head on. So we'll see how Go that goes. Go for it. And yeah. then show, show me what it's like there. Because yeah. like I, I feel like somebody's going to have to tie a rope around my waist, throw me into TikTok, and then just like if, if, if you see, you know, it's pull me back in, right? Yeah, yeah. It yeah. can be a little scary there. Yeah. So. Thanks so much for chatting with us. Um, if you like videos like these, take a look at a, another video we have over here or take a look at our latest
latest video, which I'm gonna put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we get to hang out with She-Ra, you'll be alerted <laughs> to it. And until next time, bye.